possible new movie deal for his latest book when she drank too much champagne and fell down the stairs affordability as well as the future increase in value that homes will realize. Another recent report said home prices here could increase over 80% by 1995. Don Dunwell says this is especially good news for first home buyers. Uh, I think you need a little bit more room in the back. Uh -huh. Maureen Bachter, her son and John Nath are struggling through the rigors of house hunting. They know what they want getting it in an affordable price range is what's tough. So it is very exciting, but it is scary because you know how much money you're going to be paying out each month for this place that you're going to live in. And that's the other part of the equation. John knows that a home will be more than a roof over their heads. Rather than put the money into the bank, you're hoping that your house value will go up and such so you get a return on your investment. Pittsburgh is one of the best places in the country for home buyers right now. A survey to be published in Monday's U.S. News and World Report touts the area as the 11th hottest housing market in the country. Prices on existing homes here increased in value almost 16% in the past year. The median price rose from $62,400 in the first quarter of last year to $72,170 this year. At the same time, Pittsburgh ranks very high for housing affordability. The average buyer here needs just 13% of household income to meet monthly payments. In Honolulu, it takes 40% of household income. The president of the Greater Pittsburgh Board of Realtors says affordability is a huge attraction to people moving here. We get people coming in from areas all over the country that are transferred to Pittsburgh, and they tell us they can't believe what they could get for 100000 in Pittsburgh. Now, there is a downside to this upbeat story about the Pittsburgh housing market. If housing values do increase as projected, Pittsburgh could easily lose its title as one of this country's most housing-affordable cities. And I guess that's just another example of too much of a good thing. In Brookline, I'm Don Dunwell, Channel 11 News. Pittsburgh is the with the uh, Greater Pittsburgh Board of Realtors. And Mike, what does all this mean? Now, we were ranked 15th out of a list of all the major cities in the country. Can you explain it to us? Yeah, it's bit? terrific news because this is the type of uh, study where you want to, want to come in last. You don't want overpriced housing. And by coming in last, in this case, we're in good shape. Our median good. cost here is what? 71.5. Compared to? Uh, in San Francisco, it was more than double that. So you're definitely going to get more house for your money living here in the Pittsburgh Absolutely. Area. It's good news. People have been calling us all day, and people do react to good news. Okay. Joanne, have you noticed a different profile in home buyers now compared to a few years back? Yes, I have, uh, Asa. Most of my home buyers today are uh, in the early 30s, even some of the 20s that used to just want to rent and not worry about home buying. They are very interested in buying homes today. Mm -hmm. And most of their price ranges are 100000 to 125000 Okay. And uh, speaking of price ranges, median at seventy, you can pick up a very good value on a home here. What are some other reasons that, to in, invest in real estate now? Well, naturally, uh, with the drop in the rates, I'm sure that housing in Pittsburgh will go up. Interest rates will Yeah, the interest rates right. have dropped dramatically in the last two weeks. So we've had good news twice in the last two weeks. Okay. Joanne, do you think it will make it easier to attract people here from out of town? Oh, I think it'll make it real easy to attract people because our job as realtors is to sell the city of Pittsburgh to the transferees that come in, and this will make it a lot easier for us. Hey, someone mentioned uh, if there is a downside to any of this, it might be for transient folks who come in, will say, and stay three or four years. Right. They're not going to get the high resale value that, that they might get in another area of the country. Can you address that, Mike? Yes, if they sell their home in a few years, that's right. They're going to sell it for lower than they would. But again, when they sell their house, they're relocating to these other major metropolitan areas, and they're going to pay a lot more for the same house. Okay, so it's all relative anyway. I mean, right, if, if you're going to pay a lower price, you're going to sell a lower right. price, right? Thank you both for joining us here today, and this is really good news for all of us. So if you've been thinking about buying a home, this is definitely the time to do it. Back right. to you. And it's also better to live in Pittsburgh area finances and we're real glad to be here with all the other people that are here all right mary Sully, and i'm here to handle real estate problems and transactions and i'm great thanks cindy carfagno i'm here to answer any of your needs or problems with real estate all right i'm bob kelly here to answer any questions on mortgages or re residential lending okay thank you very much so there you have it free of charge we're in uh, we're on washington pike in bridgeville we'll be here till 12 o'clock this morning laurie all people got to do is come on down, 
and we have the experts free of charge. Law, real estate, the whole gambit. I'm sure you'll we get have a lot. The Go ahead, I'm sorry. I'm sure you'll get a lot of people out there. That's a great service. Well, we want them to come on down. It's free of charge. Come on in and ask your question. Okay, Bogey, thanks. The business on the home front. And early signs have real estate people optimistic. Consumer editor Ivan Zanis reports that agents say for the first time in months, prospective buyers are out in full force. Yeah, Don, and you can bet those real estate agents